Cheers everyone. Hope everyone's having a good festive season. Um, we're on our way tomorrow to the scrap yard with all the aluminium rooms. I have aluminium wire underneath all of that. Now I have also some more aluminium there. Aluminium radios, we're just taking in a lot of aluminium. Even we've got on the back here some copper alley radiators. Uh, we've also got in that green lid bin, uh, or red lid bin, I should explain it uh, a bit better, some insulated wire. And in this one here, the little black one, we do have some aluminium insulated wire. Also some transformers, we've got motors underneath, which you would not be able to see. Uh, and some steel on the front so yeah she's gonna be a definite big load for this one hopefully it's gonna be pay out well real well I've still got three more rims to finish off down here I'm actually punching the centers out while enjoying my great northern um, so yeah they do have a metal insert in them and I've got to take the leads off the outside so until tomorrow I'll get all this all finished, get it all strapped down. I've only got the trailer to strap down now. I'm finished with the vehicle. Vehicle's all strapped. Now, this does look a bit funny the way I've tied that down, but I reassure you, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch us when I get to the scrapyard tomorrow, I suppose. at the scrap yard. Sweet! Better go and see what we're going to get out of this lot. At least we don't have to use the excavator today. Let me go find out where they want me first. Do they want to go over Waybridge or where? On the park road. Smack bang here. Out of the road. We'll go for a walk. Right, we're going to get rid of all the aluminium rims first, then the all the alloy and wire and everything else first, and then all the ferrous, ferrous stuff last. All the IBC pots here. So let's back on into the shed. for a second. Well, one. <laughs> it's a start, mate.
Straight in there, no, down. Yeah, yeah down, mate. Down and tilt back. And get down and tilt back. It's pretty level at the moment, trailer. Keep going down. Side shift my way a bit. Whoop, straight in there. Should be able to lift him up and take him off. I'll get those. Do, 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 do. And I even took out the metal inserts for the studs. Oh, right. oh yeah, some of them have got it. Oh, truth, they've got some weight in them. Stuck together. need a bin for our you want it I oh, know you want it we'll just keep it on you soon <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't fancy plucking it, plucking it out of there I don't fancy plucking it out by hand there's some, not, you put it, well, there's some bloody real needles in there. Look at that one. Got some needles into that. I can give you some gloves. Oh, not gloves. Couldn't be bothered using them. How many rooms you got? Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. It's over 20 odd. Is there four over Did there? Did pay? No, I've got them all. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I've got them all. I'll have another look for you. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep, got them all. Sweet as. Oh, that fan's nice. <laughs> Where are we going next? Oh, you're going to drag one out to pour this in, eh? You don't get much of that stuff, do you? You don't get much of that out of any wire. You have bits there. Oh, we never get any of it. Now I just got to some. Because even that stuff I'd strip out. Yeah. Why, why bring it in with a coating on it? I don't know, some people bring Better money. the high grade PVC, it's like $3.50. The stripper is like $11. Yeah. Even when it's a single wire on the PVC, I'll strip it. Yeah. Better money. That's what I look at. So what do you want to do next after that? That? I think that's what he's grabbing. All right. And then do them, the radiators? Yeah, because they're pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, rubber, celastic. Roll it all. Oh, bugger. He's only just up over the 
Oh, I could have come back. Probably haven't got a bin for that, have you? <laughs> All the sorts of stuff I bring in, you don't have. Oh, better pick that bit of alloy up. Why do I be sick, bud? I don't know how I'd fall out, pour out. 218. Huh? On the ground, Tyson. Well, I'm not picking it up. Why not? You've done it once. No, I didn't because it was insulated. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It might come out of a big blob, I don't know. With all those rims on top. Or was. Yeah, she might come out of a big blob. Yeah. Clean up an aisle three. Yeah, go back. There's some fine stuff in amongst it. Go a bit more if you can. It might go in. We get there. Now the tickets are on ya. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Is that it? Yeah. Hang on. Watch one strand. I got more on the ground at home. Little strands like that, I couldn't get them. I wasn't going to. Don't worry about it. Watch one little strand. It's not going to weigh it. You want me to chuck those in there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, chuck it over there. If you don't want the other one, I'll take it too. What, the IBC pod? Oh, you don't want me to take it? 
Oh, you want it? What for? We have treasure. Oh, do ya? What treasure you keeping? <laughs> I'll go have a look at this. It's empty! It's empty! It's full of rubbish. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know how much that way. Yeah, it's almost smoko time, isn't it? Nah, we don't have time for smoko around here. That's the good stuff. Bit of mixed brass. I would have had that all cleaned up. Here's a couple extra. Oh dear, this is why I don't wear gloves. I can never wear gloves picking up that crap. Well, it's not crap, it's money. Where's he going with it? Chase him up. Good toothpicks. <laughs> we bugger all five cents. Probably one cent. Wouldn't even weigh on the scale of those ones. Oh, well, I think we're doing alloy radiators now. I'm not even going to bother backing up. Oh, you got it all done, have you? You got it marked in? What was that? You got, what do you got to do there? Uh, that's why I didn't put nothing on. Yeah, there's not much. I was wondering if we put it all on that big truck one. What, and both of us carry it? There, and both it. of us carry it? Yeah, just carry it. do it. that. That truck one's got some weight in it. I'll get that one if you want. Oh, fair enough. Just the truck one, 16 kilos. Twenty four. You must bet that money. Yeah, better pay that out. Over 100 kilos. <laughs> Sweet. What are these ones out of? Fridges. Frid ah, okay, yep. Yeah, in your freezer section. Yeah, right. Yeah, in behind your plastic wall. wherever you can that's all right. that's all of that yep yeah that looks good <laughs> we'll cheat a bit <laughs> 46 kilos <laughs> <laughs> 
Dollar something, it's dollar twenty-five, one at a kilo. Uh, yeah, dollar twenty-five. But prices do change, as we all know. Yeah. All right, grab that truck one. Up we go. Uh, next one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Oh shit, I'm not under it yet. Right out. Up we go. Lost one. Oh, now what's the next easiest? This one. What's all that? Um, Just all aluminium. All clean or? All aluminium? clean aluminium. I never bring it in dirty. No. Good. So we should be able to drag it back to pair of us. See, this is what I was talking about. So they're, they're aluminium. Yep. I give it the grinder test. Oh, yep. Oh, I do, I do go short. It didn't spark, no magnetic, that sort of thing. That looks all like extrusion as well, so. What that? I don't know if that is. It's not extrusion, it's off push bikes. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go domestic alley for that. Should be able to pull it back so we can pork it off. Give it a couple of jerks. It's only aluminium. You weigh the whole thing and then pour it out. Yep. Because I know, I think they're about 57 kilos, those IBCs. Oh, okay, yep. I think, but you can still tear it out and do whatever. Yeah, probably haven't got a big enough bin, have you? Domestic alloy, yeah, you got a fairly big one. Got enough in that. Whew, it's bloody empty. Oh yeah, we can do with that. Did you want to, what you doing? You're pulling that out, are you? You're pulling that out, are you? You need one of those electric forklifts in here. They'll be a lot quicker than our pallet jack. We're thinking about getting another one, a small one that can see through. Just in here and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave that one for out there. Yeah. I'll lay this one. Yep. Iny alley. Got a bit of that too at home. Bit of iny alley. Where there's a bit of steel in with oh, aluminium. Yeah. Up. Up. Tilt back. Through. Up. Too, too high, too high. Down. Go in there and we'll, I'll judge it from that. Yeah, straight, straight. Keep going in, keep going in. Go down. Now you're right. You've got it. Right, while he's doing that, I'm going to get all this other stuff off. This bin. I'll set it over in front of this other one. Yeah, push the fork down. Add a couple hundred kilos. I'll cheat. Two hundred and twelve kilos, less fifty-eight, I reckon. But we'll tear it out anyway after. Where'd he go? Oh, here. Right. Okay, this stuff. I think. We'll just weigh it after anyway, much easier. Much easier to wait after. 
57, 58, somewhere around there. I'm only guessing though. So hopefully this is not too heavy for me. Take a little bit of time, that's a go. I'm not busting the back. Don't need to bust me back, it's still gotta do that. And tear it off on God knows what. Here you hope. You got it. Go for rear. Go forward, straight forward. Yep. Whoop. Start tilting. I'll hop out the road just in case it spears out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's going on there? You're not quite right through. You might have to rotate. Yeah, your fork's come out. That's what's happened. Come forward a bit the way it is. Yeah, go straight forward. Yeah, try that and we'll pull it out. Alley wire. Still going domestic? Yeah, I guess so. What is it? Alley wire? Yeah. I think it's, it's, a, I think it's not pure, it's lacquered, so it's. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why it goes domestic. Yeah. That's why I put it in there. Yeah. It's much the same as this. Yeah. Well, that's a piece of crazy. Do you want to try tilting it out now? Yep. It's only held by the back part of the forks. Macy! He dead. <laughs> A mouse! <laughs> he dead! Yeah, mate, she's empty as. <laughs> he gone. Had a fright of his life. <laughs> Poor old Macy.
<laughs> oh dear. What fun. Oh, we've got some on the ground. Uh. Yeah, so that was a bit of information, everyone. Your domestic aluminium, what you out of transformers, it goes to domestic here. That's what they take it as. Fifty, well, there you go, fifty-two. So it's a bit out. Some way different. That's it. A dollar seventy-five a kilo, not too bad. I want to try and put them on the ute. Yep, right. Why? I'll push it off. Yeah. Why you got the fork here? We'll get those motors off because they're so heavy. So just put your fork up the side here and we'll, we'll lift it off. Those two. You're off. And then the rest is outside. Oh, shoot, I can't even lift the bloody thing. This one first. Come straight up. Oh yeah, okay. Come in. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That'll do ya. Oh. Now go down. That's pallet one. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, this is the heavier one. We won't fit the wheelie bin on there, will we? Because it's over 100 kilos. <laughs> I jumped on it. Oh, yeah, squashed it all down. <laughs> squashed it all down. You get so much more in there when you squash it. Oh, you do. Oh, we use that big three and a half ton weight to squash it all ours. It goes from like full to. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, you won't fit this on there unless we lift that on top of that and then put the bin on. The transformers on top of the motors. Want to do whatever you would need to do. Whew. Gonna be a hot day. Might as well sit them up there. Do them first. One at a time. Yeah. Go up. You're gonna hit you. Yeah, that's the go. Whoop. So what are that? These are all the... All the motors. motors. Yeah, I just class it as motors myself. Yep. That's motors that I would never try to get around to. Yeah, okay. I don't know if motors and ballast are the same price. I don't know, mate. I'll just check. You can have a squizzy. I call that as a transformer. Because you're out of, some of them are out of welders, some of them are out of microwaves, and you've got those little... Um, solenoids that got copper in them, like even these, they got copper in them. Yeah, yep. So, they same price or different price? Uh, one's 90 cents a kilo, one's $1.10. Oh, go for the dollar ten. <laughs> I would say that, but yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> Do it separate. Do it separate. 102 kilos. I didn't think it was that bloody heavy. Damn. Hang on. 
I'm gonna tie one there. <laughs> <laughs> Do do do. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. $112. Ah, uh, how about we just lift that off, then do that one, then we can do them both at the same time. How's that? Yep. Well, I just lift it up back up into there instead of down there. Because that's easier to lift the two of us. This is not. Up and over. Breast. Gotta have your brake. Oh yeah, jump back on and I'll do the computer. <laughs> we'll just blind the camera out, eh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, we've got to tear that out too. You can go back to that and tear the tub out, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sweet. I'm just trying to save a bit of time. For you. No, that's it, Not for me. I'm going to have a dreary old drive home. Right, so what goes where and where goes what? Uh, yeah, both over uh, that part border. Well, do you want to... Oh, you got this bloody thing in the road, haven't you? Use your pallet jack and put it back into place and you can, we can fork it around. Oh, that don't go in there. It goes in this one. We'll have to move that small one too, won't we? Yeah, I'll move it up. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll take that home. I'll definitely take that home. Candy apple bloody copper. I didn't even need to read it. <laughs> She's number one copper. Hell yeah. How's it going? Oh, thanks, mate. I'll give you a hand. Ooh, how's he do that? Don't fit in there. No, oh, well, we'll do it my way. No, that don't fit either. go that aside. I'm no good at doing this. I just about need a license to drive one of these. Oh, that don't go in there either. What the devil? I think I'd better leave it for the operator. Yeah, that don't go in there at all. What's the GO? It won't fit. Well, I'd better leave it for him. Oh, he's on here. What's he got underneath that? Low mower? Some sort of something there? Don't know. What's he got on there? Oh, fridge. They don't pay for fridges. I was told. So these radiators off. He's a bit busy over there. Trying to sort my stuff out. Sit that down there. There we go. It's got some weight in those. Damn. That was a bit of a bugger. Oh, that one stayed on. I must be a good driver. Yeah, left it out of the road for him. Copper Alley radiator. Yeah, better go and give him a hand. Oh, that's close, huh? uh, it's all good. It's only 100 kilos, remember? <laughs> like I said to you last time, you don't need to go to the gym. 
<laughs> not when I come. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Just about need another bloke here, hey? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I've got a job, Pete. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Ah, uh, we're going down the back down here. Oh, he moved it. He got it out of the road. Oh, he pushed it down there. I thought he was going to put it in there. Where are we going? Oh, that's with the plugs on. PVC load with plugs. Where's he going? Oh, he's got another fella. That's where my PVC's going. In there. PVC mid, no plugs. That's where we're going. That's with that big wheelie bin. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. I would have stripped some of that. I would have stripped all of that. Damn yeah, that's good stuff, that. Hell yeah. But it still goes as um, number two because it's burnt. They like it nice and bright. So yeah, I don't know where he's going with these. Probably here. Electric motors. Ballast transformers. I would have pulled that apart. More money. Hmm. Yeah, so he's going one there and one there. Number three and two. Whew. Ballast here. Yes, yeah, mate. Yeah, just stay in your cockpit. I'm only going to unload a few and I can lift the rest. I can lift that. So now you got to move, that's what I said, stay in your quad pit. <laughs> Electric motors. Squeezy, squeezy, not so easy. <laughs> ah, swinging around now. You can side shift your fork anyway. Oh no, we'll keep going up then. I'm not getting on there. Safety. Yeah, keep going up and level out. Tell the forward. Now go up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That'll do ya. I don't know how we'll go here. There you go. Right. Go and weigh the tubs. Still there, still working it out. He's had customers. <laughs> He's been busy dealing with three or four other customers too. Give him a go. I'm not worried if I'm complaining about them. I'm just saying you're still here. Oh, come off the grass. That was uh, electric motor. Electric motors, mate, yeah. Take two kilo. 100 kilo for that. Not too bad. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, and that's the ballast. One. That one. What did it did it go to zero? Did I give it enough time? Yeah it did. Yeah, it's the same bloody weight. For a big one. <laughs> I'll put it as one. Fair enough. I'm not gonna complain. What's an extra buck? Alright, gonna do these copper radiators. 
couple of alley radiators. Yep. We should, both of us should be able to lift that up. Hopefully. Where is it? Yeah, right under, mate. Let's go. I tried to pack it so we could both carry it. That's it, mate. I tried to make it easy for us. And I've only got one bin up there that we've got a bloody fork off. Oh, you got half, okay. I walked away from you. I don't know what the weight there was. Never mind. Got it? Yep. In here, isn't it? Yep, one, two, three. Done. And that's the aluminium insulated. She's only light. I've had it for a long time, I thought, ah, go and cash it in. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a go. Nice and clean. That goes down with the insulated wire. It was too brittle to um, strip. It was just flaking off. But nah, not worth it. LEPVC. Yeah, that's the one. Still a dollar twenty. You got that? Yep. And we've only got that bin to get off. Ah, oh, yep. Get that uh, little drum. No, the big w with the red red lid. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, I'll say. Oh yeah, yeah, I know where to go. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I know where to go. Because I just pushed it aside. Nah, no, this one here. That one there. Because you got it in there already. Probably about, my guess, two kilo. That's my guess. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Plastic, see, it weighs nothing. Yeah, good? That's all good. Yeah, we, yeah. That's the PVC. Yeah, we only got the PVC wire. Uh, the the all taken off, no connections on there. Yep. Not a bloody red razoo. It's all like similar. Oh, you got strands. What do you like mean? How, like oh, you're gonna have a look when we get it down. Oh, yeah. They're extension cords with ends off, yep. um, and then you got single strands and all that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I just don't fancy lifting it down because it's over 100 kilo. I think it's about 130 odd kilos. All right. um, yeah, she's got some weight in it. Let's try and see where I can pick that with the fork. Well, uh, if you you can't squeeze it, can you and lift it up? Oh, I can't squeeze it. It's done with damage a bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it will, but... No, that's what I'm th thinking of. Don't think it will. Um, yeah, I'll have to put one IBC in here and probably three on the back of that. Stay out of the road. Did I put it at a good angle for you? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's about halfway. Even if you got up underneath the lip, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, start squeezing in. I don't want to get too close. Yeah, go up. Go up and then squeeze. Go. Go squeeze. Yep, straight up there. You got it. 
Just take it steady back. Lay that down. I'll get me strap off it. You're on the ground. <clears throat> Even the wheels are squeaking, it's that goddamn heavy. <laughs> Well, the maximum weight of these for the truck to lift is 70 kilos. You got that? See, now you can have a look. Oh, just See, this is what I'm saying, single strands and that sort of thing. Yep. So, and this is what I was talking about, the the, uh, threat, the insulation tape. Ah, yeah, that's all right. That's all right like that? Yeah, I reckon so. I've been stripping it off. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure. You know, if you're not sure, you, 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 know, you take it off. I think it's mostly medium grade. Gotta... There's a fair bit there. Yeah, so that's what we call like the low grade. Yeah, because it's only one one so strand. Rare, but... Well, actually, there's about three three or four strands in it. Yeah, I'll go medium grade for this. Yeah, whatever. You can go high grade if you like. <laughs> I'll stay on here. <laughs> Better not. Uh, I was close on the weight. I said I, I've got a set of scales at home and I weighed it. Yeah, okay. Said about 130, so my scars are probably a bit out. Price. Yeah, doesn't put it in. Too bad. Oh, you can put five bucks if you want. He's <laughs> put. Thing. No. What do you mean no? no. I'd come down. <laughs> I did stomp on it about three or four times. Bombs out, she comes. Yeah. 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 Babe. Yeah. Oh, that's got you go back through it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm watching him. <laughs> he hasn't even got his fork straight. Now you're good. And I'll put those IBC pods on the vehicle. Yeah, he's going to put it on there now. <laughs> You've already weighed it off, eh? <laughs> <laughs> bit late, you're a bit late, bit late. <laughs> 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 well, there, all this stuff's going out there. I've got to go right around and weigh that off. Okay, that one. Right. Right now, see what our 
Ferris is going to waste. I know I've got about 500 kilos, maybe. Get my tub of lard off here. Can I make it heavier? <laughs> Ooh, what have you got there? Nah, 3.36. <laughs> Good luck. I'll go and unstrap it. Love coming here. They always joke with you. It's good to have a joke. Uh, if you're not joking around, you're not, not having fun with scrapping. Oh, that's onto that. That'll be fine. Go right around the far side. Undo. Right. Just got to wait for them. Don't know what's happening. Don't know what's going on yet. <clears throat> I might carry a couple of these things across. A couple of these microwaves. Oh dear. I'm not lifting that and that. I'll put that on with the front end loader. Got a bit of weight in it. No microwave hasn't. It's just full of screws and stuff. I don't know where they want it, but I'm going to put it over here. Not much of a walk. That's where I'm putting it. might be able to lift it, I don't know. Find out. See how it goes. Oh yeah, not that heavy. Put it on the shoulder. And away we go. Shove that up there. Put that up there too. Ah. I just got this to come off. I'll put that small one in the trailer when you're finished. Yep, right. Alright. That box is full too of stuff. I oh, can unlock it. Oh no, it's it's a fridge being gutted. It's a real old oh you're talking about 1950s fridge. And I gutted it. Yep. Took all the insulation out and everything like that. Go up, go up, go up, keep going in. Whoop, lift up there. You'll take the other one a little bit. No, you didn't. Good.
them off. Put these three on the back, the other three on the vehicle, like this one and the other two. Yep. Yeah, just put it down there. It's only light. Did you want to lift that up on top of it? So if you're doing two trips, put this on your fork and then put it up top. So you can put it up there. Yeah, leave it at that, whoop, just come in a bit. That'll do ya. There, you you're on. Oh, I thought you put it up there. What are we dropping on the ground? I'll oh, put it out it's gonna come off anyway. Just that was a damn good shot. Right, well that's that for me. <laughs> oh well I wouldn't be uh, any better. I know I wouldn't be any better. <laughs> I don't want to get on it. A lot in that. Damn lot in that. Tied your plastics inside. I zip tied it, uh, not zip tied, I put test screws. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, so they don't come out. Yeah. Well, you don't want it in there. No. So I went around and test screwed all the top. Yeah, yeah. So that way it holds it in. How many bits you putting on? So which? I'm putting a lot on. Even yours. Yeah, I'll take yours if you want me to. No, I don't think we need you to yet. No, I see. Uh, I'll take the other one that's there if you want. You haven't got enough room. I have. Put it in the trailer. <laughs> anyway, I'm going way out. All right, final way. Final way. Then we're gonna load our other two IBCs. Oh, you got me with it on there, have you? Oh, I've got to get off. Oh, okay. Oh, it wasn't that heavy. What is that? Two, two, five, eight. Hey. Eight hundred kilos. Oh. That's me. <laughs> 800 kilos. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, there we go. Very eventful day that was. But anyway, we'll get down to the formalities of what everything cost, uh, what we got in weights and all that other thing, and the total price of what we received. Aluminium rims, 252 kilos, $2.70 a kilo. Uh, received $680.40 for that one. Copper brass radiator dirty, four kilos, $4.45 a kilo. Total price of $17.80. Uh, aluminium wire pure, 228 kilos, $2.45 a kilo. I don't know where I got the 70. Uh, but the total price of what we received, $5. 58.60. We did pay for some of that wire too, not all of it. Uh, aluminium clean radiator, 
46 kilos, dollar 25 a kilo, 57 dollars 50. Domestic aluminium, 160 kilos, dollar 75 a kilo, 280 dollars neat. Uh, starter, starter, alternators, electric motors. Oh, I only took in electric motors, 100 kilos. Damn, dollar 10 a kilo. So we know what that price is, 110 dollars. It's an easy figure out that one. Uh, fridge compressors, electric ballast, uh, 73 kilos, 90 cents a kilo. Now all these prices are subject to changing each month. So don't go by the prices I'm actually telling you per kilo. So always change. Uh, so we got $65.70 for that. Uh, aluminium, copper, radiator, clean. 42 kilos, $5.65 a kilo, $237.30. Ah, uh, we're up to aluminium PVC catered insulated wire. We took in 12 kilos, $1.20 a kilo. So we got $14.40. Uh, PVC copper wire mid-grade. Why they named it as mid-grade is because it had some small stuff in it. So I may be separating. I might just leave it as it is. It's a lot of effort to do that. We had 110 kilos, thought it was damn heavy, $3.90 a kilo, four, four, and we got $429 on that one. Pressing steel, 800 kilos, 28 cents a kilo. Now, when you look at the waist, when you come down to the waist levy of um, $30, basically with the waist levy there, uh, you take, well, I think it's about four cents off, and it brings it down to 24 cents a kilo, and that's why you get your waist levy down the bottom there. Uh, so we got $224 there, so a grand total of $2,644.30. Well, I reckon that's a damn good payday. So if you've come this far in this video, everyone, don't forget to smash that like button, and if you wish to, to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified when we put a new video out. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there. And till next time, happy scrapping, happy dumpster diving, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!